Hey Phil fam and welcome back to another Friendly Phil video. I am currently at the Papa Jake YouTube house because today is the day we figure out who is behind this Huggy Wuggy suit. Now I've talked to Papa Jake and Logan about it and they both promised me that it is not them playing a prank on us. And I mean for a second I thought it was Big Z but that just doesn't make any sense because Big Z's been with me the entire time all these attacks to the house have been happening. I think I see him through the window. What? Oh, wait, that's perfect, I have an idea! Wait, Bigsy, Bigsy, did you just see that? See what, Phil? The Huggy Wuggy pulled its mask off. I also know that going after a dangerous evil criminal and or Huggy Wuggy is a terrible idea, but I can't get it off my mind, Phil fam. Someone is trying to mess with me and I can't let that happen. Now I know the Huggy Wuggy or whoever this evil person is was living in the backyard for at least a couple days, sneaking into the YouTube house at night and taking whatever items he could to, I guess, survive so my hope is today to look for clues that he may have left behind so we can figure out who it is behind the huggy wuggy mask and put an end to this i also know in me and bigsy's last video as you guys saw i'm sure we built an awesome gaming fort so i don't think bigsy is going to be too eager to help me today because we had planned to be in the fort all day long but uh i'm sure i can convince him like i always do how's it going phil why are you playing xbox up here i thought you'd be in the secret gaming fort for sure Gets kind of lonely down there playing by yourself. We did build it inside of a prison. As you can see, the box fort looks exactly like a prison. Who would even dream of thinking that there is an epic gaming fort actually inside? This is very true, but it is super cozy down there. Yeah, it has a bean bag, Phil, but we haven't installed the mini fridge yet, so we don't have drinks. So I had to keep going up and down to get drinks. So I just decided to play here today. Okay, fair enough. Have Papa Jake and Logan got here yet? No, Phil, why do you ask? Well, I was thinking, Phil the Huggy Wuggy who broke into the YouTube house. Remember, he wasn't a Huggy Wuggy. We saw him take off his mask. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Big Z. We need to get to the bottom of this. Whoever this is, is trying to mess with us. No, Phil, no, 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 no. He left. We do not have to do anything anymore. He's gone. He's not coming back. Remember, we scared him off with the water blaster. Yeah, we scared him off with water blasters. But Big Z, how can you sleep at night knowing that there's someone out there trying to mess with us? Or even worse, up at Jake and Logan, and then it's gonna get blamed on us. Well, Phil, I jump into bed, pull my covers over, and sleep on my pillow. It's exactly how I go to sleep at night. Well, I haven't been sleeping great the last couple days knowing that this person is still out there somewhere. Well, Phil, once again, you left the door open. These are why criminals keep on coming into our house. Right. Yeah, I really gotta work on that. You don't say. But anyways, Big Z, Papa, my best friend. We need to get to the bottom of this. And I need your help. How long is this gonna take? Because I still have a bunch of Minecraft to play. Ever since Jake and Logan invited me to the server, I've been working on my house. And it's definitely not up to code yet. It is coming along pretty well. I, I checked it out the other day. Yes, Phil, I have a pool and everything in it. But there's still some empty rooms and I need to gather resources. Okay, well that can wait. As we know, he was living in the backyard. So I was thinking, there must be some sort of clue back there that might help us track him down and get to the bottom of this mystery. No, 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 we can look at that later. Don't you want to check out your Minecraft house too? I think your chickens and horses are getting pretty hungry. The Minecraft chickens can wait. Maybe this is real life. Come on, well, did you at least bring donuts or something? Actually. Come to think about it, I haven't had a donut today. You know what? I think I do have a couple donuts lying around. All right, Phil. Let's go to the cupboard. Wait, Phil. What? what do you mean? The, the cupboard's that way. In the fridge. I don't keep my donuts in the cupboard. Phil, what do you mean you don't keep your donuts in the cupboard? Where are you keeping them? Why would anybody keep donuts in the cupboard? Then people like you could eat them. That's where usually people leave their cookies and candies and stuff. Well, Big Z, I'm not a normal person. If you don't want people to be eating your donuts, then you gotta hide them. <laughs> what a catch! Also, as you would notice, a chocolate dip. That one's just for me. I'm not always thinking about myself. And, of course, a sprinkle. And with these donuts, Big Z, what better time than to give a shout out to one of the awesome fan members? Woo! And today's shout out goes to SPD Gaming. Thank you so much for being an awesome fan and supporter of the Friendly Phil Fam. If you want to win a shout out, just like SPD Gaming, it's so simple. All you gotta do is comment three sprinkle donuts and use the hashtag the fam! Also guys, in the last video, I read all the comments down below and you guys were giving me so many tips and tricks on how to complete a front flip on the trampoline and I have been practicing and practicing and practicing I actually think I might be able to complete one really soon. I don't know about this. I've seen Phil do a front flip just yesterday and it did not look any better than a month ago. Well, 
We're still working on some things, but I think we might just be able to complete one very, very soon and in time for the end of summer, just like I said I would do. But Pixie, we don't have time for front flips today. We need to head to the backyard and try to find whatever clues we possibly can to capture whoever's sneaking in and out of the YouTube house at night. The only clues we're gonna find is more stuff he stole from our house to bring into his bunker outside. Well, Big Z, if we find stuff, that's even better. Then we can get it back into the Pop Jake house before he notices it went missing. He's been asking for things all week. I think he's noticed things are missing already. Okay, well, at least maybe if he asks for an item that we find today, We'll have it. Why are we in the pool area? Remember, he was living in the sheds. I was thinking maybe that's where we could find our first clue. What? Where is everything? I already cleaned out the shed and I didn't find any clues on who this person could be. Well, you weren't looking for clues. Now we're looking. Maybe there's something. No, Phil, come on. We already cleaned out everything. We got to check some other places. Remember, this guy went everywhere. Wait, yeah, he chased us on the playground for a little bit. Come on! Oh yeah, Phil, you got dragged down the slide. What if he dropped something when you were fighting in there? That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, that's my leg! No, 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 Phil! No, 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 I can't pull you off! No! No! Oh no, guys, this is not good! He's got Phil! Oh, no. Let me know if you see anything. Nothing, nothing so far! Oh, Phil! Gotta hold on. Heading down a slide is a lot harder than it looks like. Uh, here I go. I see no sign of anything. And there's nothing on this wall. Going down a little further. I don't know. What are we looking for anyways? What kind of clue will this guy leave behind? I don't know what kind of clue he'd leave behind, but I'm sure there's gotta be something. Remember the trampoline? He was jumping all over it. Could have dropped something and it could have blown away around the area. Perfect, Pixie. All right, come on. Let's check it out. I got nothing. I couldn't find anything too. I kind of hoped something would fall from the tree. This isn't a video game, but this is the perfect time to show the Phil fam how good my front flip ability has been getting. Your abilities are super low. Check this out. In three, two, one. Oh. Look at that. I don't even fall anymore. You did fall. You just bounced back on your feet because it's a trampoline. All right, back flip in three, two, one. What the, the Phil? Oh. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. You actually maybe stay there and practice a little or a lot because it is not getting any better. I gotta check by the couches. Maybe at night he relaxes when we're all inside playing games and it could have slipped out in his pocket. Oh. Phil, there was nothing by the couches. I think we're looking for thin air right now. Wait, Bigsy. It came to me while I was doing front flips. You weren't doing front flips, so. Okay, attempting to do front flips. We've been retracing his steps throughout the backyard, but we haven't gone to the one place yet where he was the most flustered. And when people are flustered, they make mistakes. What do you mean flustered, Phil? We were the ones flustered all night. I got pushed in the pool. Whoa, no! Ah! Ah, what? Oh, you won it! You won! Oh. We got dragged down the slide. I got pushed down the slide. We were flustered, Phil. No, Bigsy, think about it. Like you said, we chased him away with water blasters and we saw him through the window in the kitchen running down the left side of our house. That's when we had him on his toes. Phil fam, if you see anything, make sure to leave a comment down below. It's kind of a big area to scan. What even is all this? Pretty sure this is the stuff that runs the pool. Oh, Bigsy, check it out! There's an old ATV back here! Maybe we get this thing up and running. Oh. Hey, uh, Phil, the, the ATV's fine. It's, re it's really cool. But, uh, I don't really see anything else. Also, uh, we could also really use a lawnmower back here. These plants are getting pretty overgrown, Bigsy! Okay, I'll, I'll get the lawnmower out and cut the lawnmower. <sighs> Oh no. But we gotta check further down the trail. There's gotta be something down here. We are not giving up on this hunt. I think I found a clue. And now Phil's gonna get all excited. Look at this. I think this is a glove that the person wearing the Huggy Wuggy costume was wearing. This is not good. Not good for me because I was really hoping we could play Minecraft all day. Should I tell him? What if I just hide the glove? And no one would know. We wouldn't find anything. We could just go back inside and play games. Pixie, you coming or what? No. Because I think I found a clue. You found a clue? Yes. 
Whoa, 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 where is he? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't go crazy, okay? Could be nothing, but I think I found his glove. What do you mean, don't go crazy or nothing? Big C, this is definitely the Huggy Wuggy glove. Yeah, but Phil, it's not like we have anything to get DNA off the glove. We can't find out who's wearing No, Big Z, this is everything. There's definitely something on or in this glove that we can use to track down the criminal. Phil, we're not a government entity. We can't pick out a hair, send it to a lab, and figure out who this guy is. We might not be a government whatever you called it, but we've got Papa Jake, and we've also got you, and we've also got me, and we can definitely figure this out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Phil, we do not have Papa Jake on our side for this one. We are not telling him, and I am not getting kicked out of the YouTube house. Fine by me, Bigsy. We'll figure it out ourselves. Well, Phil, why don't you put the glove on, see if there's something inside. I'm not putting on the Huggy Wuggy glove. Are you crazy? That could make me the criminal. You put on the Huggy Wuggy glove. I don't want to put it on. I found it. You put the glove on. Bigsy, I am not putting the glove on. Well, how are we going to solve this mystery if we can't take a look inside the glove? Okay, wait, Bigsy. I've got the perfect idea. I know how we're gonna solve this mystery. By you putting the glove on, Phil. I'm going in. So what exactly are you looking for? Well, I don't know yet. We're gonna find out. Come on. Here, pass, pass me the magnifying glass. Do you see any hairs in the magnifying glass? No, no sign of anything so far. So, oh, what? Don't touch that. You're right. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll go from over here. Turning the glove Turning around. Up. Lifting up and seeing what might be inside. Pixie! Pixie, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, I'm seeing it, Phil. Is that some kind of writing inside? Yes, there's some kind of writing inside. Okay, Phil, fam, me and Bigsy might have just found exactly what we are looking for. Yeah, Phil, let's see what the writing says. Oh, why are you still wearing goggles? Oh, yeah. I am turning the glove inside out. Ah! What? What? I'm just kidding. Phil, don't do that. This is serious. Wait, Pixie, there, there's nothing here. I swear we saw something in the glove. Try turning the glove around. Oh, right. Oh, Pixie, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what I did not want to happen. What are you talking about? We're getting one step closer. Now we just got to um, figure out this riddle. Oh, Phil, we're getting one step further away from Minecraft. <gasps> My house, it needs to be up to code by tomorrow. The inspectors are going to come. They're going to tear it down. I need to be in the server with Jake and Logan. Get your hunting outfit on. We're getting to the bottom of this mystery. Hunting, Phil? I do not want to go hunting. Monster ink? That does not mean anything good, Phil. It has the word monsters in it. Okay, so they could have used a different word, but that just must be the company. And they even have their phone number attached. This is perfect. We call the company that We're made- We're not calling the company. We call the company that made the costume and figure out who bought the costume from them. And then we find out who's been coming after us. This always brings about three things. Danger, running away, and us getting really terrified. It's gonna be different this time. This time we have a number to a nice corporation called Monsters Inc. I don't think we're gonna be dealing with Mike and Sully on this one. But imagine we were. All right, Big Z, what's the number? 416. 416. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Two, eight. Whoa, wait, wait, stop, Phil. Two, stop, eight. stop, stop, stop. What, what? We're going about this all wrong. Monsters Inc. selling criminal costumes to bad guys? They must get this stuff all the time. What if they can hack our location? Hack our location? I don't even think about that. You gotta start thinking about this stuff if we're gonna be going after dangerous criminals. I was talking to Jake a couple days ago and he was telling me about a GPS tracking system he was developing. We could use that while we make the call to Monsters Inc. and get the location of where they are. You said you didn't want to bring Papa Jake into this. Now you're gonna ask to use one of the devices he's been working on? Well, I think I think that's the only way we can find the location because I'm pretty sure we can't just call them up and say, hey, we're looking for a mass criminal. Can you tell us where they are? Right. Yeah. No, that wasn't my plan. Nothing like that. Right. Sure you did, Phil. But what do you want to do? Well, Pixie, that's simple. We're gonna break into Papa Jake's workshop just like you said and get the device. Breaking into Papa Jake's workshop is not simple. That is not a good idea. You said he was working on a GPS tracking device. Then we can hook up to my cell phone and then track down wherever this Monsters Inc. Incorporated is and speak to whoever's running this thing. Papa Jake's not here. We can't just break into his workshop. He has sensors and things that detect it if we break into it. And then like probably a trap door and we fall down and get injured. We do not want to do that. Pixie, Pixie, we've done it a million times. Come on, remember? You just hit this fake light switch and the door unlocks. Well, well, well. Would you look who it is? I'm just kidding. Hey, Phil, Logan here. Jake told me he knows you know about the light switch that unlocks his workshop. He 
You also wanted me to tell you whatever you're about to do, don't do it. <laughs> Maybe uh, getting into Papa Cheeks Workshop the old-fashioned way is not going to be as easy as possible. But don't worry, I'm sure there's other ways in. Other ways in? What do you mean, Phil? It's a room. There's doors and windows. Wait. Windows, Pixie! That's perfect! Let's just sneak around the house and try to break in through the window! Oh, sometimes I regret saying anything at all! Come on! Now, which one of these windows is to his office? What's in that one? Oh, that's the gaming room, Phil. Okay. And that one? Phil, how am I supposed to know what that window is to? Okay, what about that one? That's gotta be it, right? Based on where this window is located, it should correlate correctly with where Papa Jake's workshop is. Okay, Big Z, but what are you waiting for? Why are you all the way up there? Give me a boost! You a boost, Phil? What do you think I am, Superman? I can't just throw you up. I stand where you are, I get up on your shoulders, and you walk me over to the window. Now that might be the worst idea you've actually ever had, and you've had a lot of bad ideas. This is a terrible idea. The only way we're getting to that window. Come on! This isn't gonna work. You're gonna hurt yourself. You ready? No! <laughs> Here it come! <laughs> oh, Phil! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, Whoa. maybe we get a ladder. Now that's a good idea. Are you sure you want to do this? We are getting to the bottom of whoever has been behind this Huggy Wuggy suit. And we're doing it today. So we need that GPS device. Can you hold the ladder? Oh my goodness. Are you holding it? I Big Z. What's up? This is definitely Papa Jake's office. You almost got it open? Yeah. Couple more turns. And. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll be open enough for me to get in. Fine, Phil. Go in. But remember, be very careful. Can you see anything inside? No. Is everything okay? What do you see in there? Phil, are you in there? Oh yeah, I was in there. And let me tell you, that place is awesome. Is that the GPS? If so, Big Z, everything is actually incredibly labeled in there. Hmm, okay, right on. Thanks, Papa Jake. I actually did not take Papa Jake as a neat freak, but yes, surprisingly very, very organized. Okay, so I think this goes like this. You think, Phil? That, like that. And now I just need a... Device. A phone charging device? Yeah, you know something to charge your phone with? Why do you need that? To plug into this doohickey! Okay, Phil. Okay, I got the phone charger. Perfect. So, uh... Just, just plug it in. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. This is just a theory. But I think if we plug this in here, and then the charging device into my phone, once I make this phone call, I think we'll be tracking the location of whoever we're calling, and then we're one step closer to solving this mystery and finally finding out who is behind the Huggy Wuggy mask. Phil, I'll go get the number. It's still in the gaming room. Okay, I got it. I got the glove with the number on it. Okay, awesome. Okay, 416. 416. 555. 555. 28. 28. 22. 22. Oh no, remember Phil, you have to keep him talking as long as possible so we can track his GPS location. We don't know how long it's gonna take. Right, okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Maybe talk about pizza or pancakes, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hello, who am I speaking with? Oh, hi there. Um, you're speaking to, um, um, you are speaking to Papa Jake. Papa Jake? Yes! Um, and I was just wondering if you liked sprinkled donuts. What is he doing? Yep. Um, well, I actually had a friend who gave me your number. Um, I'm in need of a costume. A friend? So you're a friend of one of your clients? Um, yes, one of your clients. Uh,. Tell him the client, Phil. Tell him the client. Tell him the client. What did you refer by? Um, right, yeah. Um, he took, uh, he took one of your best suits. The Huggy Wuggy suit. Huggy Wuggy suit? Yeah, yeah, that one. How did you get this number? Who are you? Um, Papa Jake. Um, and I'm looking for a suit. Uh, a Huggy Wuggy suit, actually. That's not what this is. 
Phil, he just hung up on you. Did you get the location? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Look on your phone, check it out. Oh, right, okay, here goes nothing. Oh, wait, wait. Is going Something is going on with my phone. This is probably exactly what we need to get his location. We just need to figure out what all this means. You're right, we need to figure out what all this means, but how are we gonna do that? It just looks like gibberish to me. Hello, Papa J. Looks like your lithium ion it's GPS tracking device has worked. I will be sending your last caller's location to your device momentarily. Oh, okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Th Th thank you, sir. Thank yes, you. nice. Did did my, did my phone just talk to I me? I think your phone talked to you, Phil, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's new. But, but Pixie, this is perfect. We're getting the location of Monsters, Inc. It's coming to my phone right now. He actually said momentarily. Momentarily, right now, that's the same thing. No, it's... Okay, maybe you're right. Oh, you're not gonna like this. What do you mean I'm not gonna like this? Uh... No. No, 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 no. We are not going there. This mystery ant hunts now. I've been at the YouTube house for about two hours now, and there has been absolutely no sign of Big Z. And last night, we made a plan to meet here bright and early and start mapping our way to the Monsters Inc. warehouse, where we are going to confront the owner and find out who we sold the Huggy Wuggy costume to, so we can then track him down and finally put an end to all of this madness. But as you can see, I am in Big Z's favorite room in the whole YouTube house, and he is not here. So Phil fam, I think we should give Big Z a quick call and make sure he's still coming for this mission. Because yesterday he was not exactly thrilled where the GPS tracker was. It was in the middle of the woods. But you know what? We've been to the woods plenty of times and we've gotten out every single time successfully. So there should be nothing to worry about. Wow, I really gotta remember to start closing these doors behind me. Maybe it's a good thing Bigsy's not here yet, because he would not let me hear the end of that. He's gonna pick up, right? Oh, Bigsy, perfect! You answered! Phil, is that you? Yeah, yeah, of course it's me. What are you doing not at the YouTube house yet? We said we were gonna meet bright and early. I just put a pizza in the oven. I was thinking about this last night. Why don't we just stay? away from the forest right now because we really don't need to be solving this mystery and seeing who's behind the huggy wuggy suit he hasn't done anything since a couple days ago he could be onto something else what are you talking about we're so close we literally have the location of who sold this person the suit now we just need to confront him together and finally get to the bottom of this no phil i can't do it i'm sorry you gotta go on your own bigsy bigsy I, I can't do this alone we, we do everything together Phil, my pizza's ready. It's in the oven. I'm gonna eat it. You should come over. You got this, Phil. Pixie just hung up on me. All right. You know what? Fine. I can do this by myself. I don't need Pixie. We need to stick to the plan, Phil fam. We need to pack up a bag, and we need to start following this GPS location that has been sent to my phone. We're burning daylight, and the last thing I want to do is be in the woods by myself at night. I got my backpack. I got a radio. Wait. I, I don't need a radio. I'm going by myself. Handy dandy flashlight just in case it gets dark. But if I am still there during darkness, this mission went completely wrong. But just in case, I've got the flashlight. We also have a handy dandy roll of duct tape. As Pop Jake says, never leave home without duct tape. You never know what you might need it for. I also saw a wrench on the table, so I grabbed it. Big Z is usually the one in charge of packing, but you know what? You never know what you might need a wrench for. Last but not least, of course, some netting. Just in case this bad guy does show up, we can use this netting, the duct tape we have, and catch this criminal. But I don't really think we'll need that today, because today is all about just getting the monsters in to speak to the store clerk and get him to kindly tell me who bought the Huggy Wuggy suit. So I need to look as friendly as possible. And that is why I will not be wearing any military gear on this mission. I gotta fit in. I gotta be covert. I gotta blend into the crowd. Just me and all of his other customers. But as you know, Phil fam, you cannot go on any adventure with an empty stomach. So first things first, let's get to Tim Hortons. Hi, how can I get for you? Oh, hi, can I just get two sprinkle donuts? Two vanilla dips, is that all? Yep, that'll be everything. You can drive up. Let's go, two donuts. But don't worry, Phil fam, I'm not gonna have both donuts. I've got a little trick up my sleeve of what I might do with the second. Got ourselves a sprinkle donut. This is exactly what I needed 
to get this mission done by myself, or should I say with someone else? Brings me to the point why I bought not just one, but two sprinkle donuts. Figure if Bigsy doesn't want to come on the adventure with me, maybe Papa Jake or Logan might. And if they don't, can bribe them with a sprinkle donut. Okay, so Logan and Jake both didn't answer, but that's okay because I got another sprinkle donut I can eat. But I better save some of this for later, just in case I get hungry on the way. So you might be wondering, Bill, you were just last in your car, and now you're on a path in the middle of the woods. Because I saw that on the GPS, Monsters Incorporated is actually not too far. I know we can get to very quickly through the sewer system me and Biggs found last summer when we were tracking down the pond monster. And it is still fairly bright out, so I figured, why not go through the sewer? That way, I can get home even quicker and still be home for dinner. Hey. Maybe Papa Jake's gonna order pizza. Also, I know what you're thinking. Going into the sewer where we once saw the pond monster is a terrible idea. And I would agree with you. But me and Bigsy have never seen the monster during the day. And I have the route so mapped out that I'm only gonna have to be in the sewer for like five minutes before I can find myself back above ground. And I think in a park very close to where Monsters Inc. is if my calculations are right. so bad. Wow, the sewer is a lot darker than I remember it. Good thing I packed a flashlight. I will not be going in that sewer without it. Okay guys, here goes nothing. I forgot how my feet always get so wet during this. All right, nothing to worry about Phil. Just you and an empty sewer. Okay, so I'm starting to overthink this whole thing. I gotta get to the end of this fast. I really wish Bixie was here. Was that? Okay, running time. <gasps> okay, oh, we're out. Okay, maybe going through the sewer, not a good idea. Getting a phone call. Oh, Phil? it's Bigsy. Phil, where are you? What do you mean, where am I? I'm on my way to Monsters, Inc. Yeah, did I just see a sewer in the background, Phil? Uh, yes? You can't go through the sewer. You know as well as me what's in there. I know the pond monster might be in there, but it's the middle of the day. And you know what? I didn't even see him. Maybe I heard him, but whatever. Wait, Phil, you heard him? That uh, close by. Um, no. Uh, I didn't hear him. I'm just kidding around. But, Big Z, if my tracking was right, I should be really close to Monster Zing. Come on, Phil. You have to head home now. It's not too late. Just meet me at mine. We can play Minecraft all night. It'll be so much fun. I'm not stopping now. I just went through a sewer for this. I'm gonna get the information out of this guy and I will report back. Phil, don't do this. Sorry, Big Z. I got bigger plans. I'm not gonna lie. I fell in a puddle a little bit ago. It was pretty embarrassing. And luckily enough, I don't have it on camera. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but my shirt is soaking wet. But I think I have an extra one in my backpack. So I'm gonna see if I can change quick, get to the top of this hill, and then reach the park I was talking about. As you can see, we don't have too much further to go. Okay, finally. Oh, guys, this was the park opening that I talked about earlier. I better check the GPS. Oh, guys, my plan worked. GPS says we're only one mile away from Monsters Incorporated. Phil, got this. You just need to be nice and get the details to whoever ordered their last Huggy Wuggy costume. This is gonna work. Great, back into the woods. At least there's a path. That's a good thing. It is getting kind of dark though. But we are really close. Shouldn't be too much further. GPS says I'm 200 meters away. Whoa. Now that's a big bridge. This must be why taking the sewer was the fastest way. Monsters Incorporated is right by a river. Oh, guys, I see a building. All right, this is it. Go away. Not the most inviting building in the world. Hello? Anybody home? Um, looking to purchase your most expensive costume. Say your name. Um, friendly Phil. Yeah, wait a minute, I recognize those glasses. The goggles? We're walking it down, boys. Better get out of here. You recognize my goggles? 
finally here. This is awesome. I've been waiting for you a whole day. I was watching our last video and I figured out who he was talking about. Wait, what? You know what's going on? I feel I'm all caught up and I figured out who the store clerk from Monsters Inc. was talking about. Wait, really? Yeah, Philly said he recognized your goggles. And who else do we know that wears the goggles exactly like you? We don't know anybody who wears goggles like me, Big Well, yes, we do, Phil. It's gotta be your evil twin. My evil twin, Big Z, not this again? You made that guy up in your head. He was an imaginary friend of yours. No, Phil, I was doing a lot of research last night, and I know it's the evil twin behind the Huggy Wuggy suit. He's the one that's been going into the house and causing so much chaos. I recognize those glasses. Goggles? We're walking down, boys. Better get out of here. You recognize my goggles? Wait. Hold on. I definitely know someone else who wears those glasses. It's gotta be Phil's evil twin! Big Z, I am telling you, for the hundredth time, I do not have a twin. All I have is an older sister. Exactly, Phil. That's what I was thinking. And I came to the conclusion that you don't have a twin. Finally, you believe me. You have a copycat. I have a what? Someone who's trying to mimic you, do everything like you. Although, I don't really know why. But someone wants to be you, Phil. But the bad version. Because you're actually pretty good. What do you mean the bad version of me? Well, Phil, clearly this copycat of you wants to give you a bad image. Going around causing havoc, stealing things, and getting on Papa Jake's bad side. If what you're saying is true, and I do have a copycat, where did he get my goggles from? I don't know, Phil. Where did you get the goggles from? I think Jake ordered them off Amazon for me. Well, Phil, there's your answer. You get them off Amazon. Right. Ooh, Big Z. Are those donuts? Of course they're donuts, Phil. <laughs> we got donuts in the house! There's always donuts in the YouTube house. But Phil, donuts are not important right now. <laughs> Phil, we have to go find your copycat and put an end to this. Big the copycat can wait. We got sprinkled donuts! Ooh, all right, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. well, we got donuts. Oh, Phil, I already had your donut for the day. I have an idea of how we're gonna catch your copycat. Really? Yes, Phil. And it involves us going back to Monsters, Inc. Incorporated, but this time I'm going with you. You want to go back to Monsters, Incorporated? It took me like almost two hours to get there, and I cut the time in half by going through the sewer. I forgot how my feet always get so wet during this. All right, nothing to worry about, Phil. Just you and an empty sewer. Phil, I looked at the map, and I don't know why you were going through the sewer. You can literally drive to the place. Wait. What? Yeah, there's a parking lot right beside the corporation. So you're telling me I trekked through a sewer and the forest when I could drive there the entire time? Whoa, 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 Phil. It's not that simple this time. First, we got to get disguises, and I'm doing the talking. Disguises? Busy. This isn't going to work. Phil, it's going to work. You just have to trust me. I have a plan. I think your mustache is upside down. Oh. Okay, now it's going to work. Oh, boy. Now, remember. My name's Jerry, and your name's Tom. You mean like Tom and Jerry, the cat and the mouse? Exactly. We're doomed. Not gonna lie, having a beard, it's not all it's made out to be. My face is so hot. I kinda like it. Oh yeah, Bigsy hasn't stopped talking in his Jerry voice for the last 20 minutes now. Phil, you gotta become the character. I am Jerry. Who's Bigsy? I have no idea what you're talking about. Great. Also, as we've been driving, Bigsy, I was thinking, what if we got the store clerk, you know, some sort of present? So he would, uh, you know, be maybe a little more friendly to us. Okay. That's not actually a bad idea. What did you have in mind? I know the perfect gift. I think there's a Tim Hortons like five minutes ahead. Phil, not everyone loves donuts as much as you. I don't think it's going to take so kindly to a donut than you would. Wait, what are you talking about, Big Z? Everybody loves donuts. No, we're not stopping. We're almost there. Really? You don't even want a little bit of a chocolate dip donut? Ooh, or a sprinkle. Phil, no. We had three donuts each back at the YouTube house. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wow, Big Z, I am shocked. There was actually a parking lot really, really close. Yeah, Phil, I told you there's a parking lot there. Say your name. Uh, be Tom and Jerry. Looking to get some costumes. Yeah, what he said. Shh, don't have to talk. How did you find out about this place? Well, we heard it from a friend of a friend, see? Yeah, friend of a friend. Yeah. I recognize those goggles. I told you to get out of here. Boys, get the arsenal oh, ready. Oh, no, right, no, no, wait. There's a clear, clear explanation to what we are doing and why we are back here. What are you doing? We think 
that there is a copycat running around causing chaos in this guy's goggles. Yeah! Copycat, you say? You know, it would actually be a lot easier if you just opened up the door and let us have a little peek inside. Not coming in. Take this. We got the camera! Wow, Big Z, I am shocked. Your plan actually worked. Yep. My plan worked. I know you had doubts, but we got the job done, and we can check out all the footage in the security camera. Oh yeah, Big Z, let me get my laptop and let's fire this footage up. Hopefully it'll give us a clue to finding out where this copycat is. Sounds good. Okay, pass me the camera. Oh, perfect. Now we just need to get this memory card out. Got all it. right, let's fire this thing up, Phil Fam. Say your name and reason of business. It's me, I'm here for another costume. Not you again. We got the too much chaos. I want to keep this business quiet. Don't worry, it's just me and I'll take care of him. I'll pay top dollar, I just need the other costume. Oh, Big Z, he's pulling out his phone. I think he's making a call. All right, I got the costume. Let's turn it up a little bit. I'll meet you at the... Eight o'clock tonight. Okay, awesome, Big Z. Now we just gotta gear up and get to the address before eight o'clock. Meetups in the middle of the woods. Of course, the meetups in the middle of the woods. Where else would the meetup be? Uh, we can do this. It's fine. We've been in many of woods before. You went to the woods alone just yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We got this. We always got this. A little bit of woods at night. Nothing could go wrong. It'll be perfect. Phil, you left the door open again. Whoa, 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 Big Z, I did not leave the door open. If memory serves correct, I was the first one in the house, oh. not the last no, one. It had to be you, it had to be you. Wow, Big Z, I am shocked. Your plan actually worked. Yep, my plan worked. Okay, maybe it was me this time. Locked. We really gotta work on that. Okay, Phil fam, me and Big Z are currently in the location where my copycat said he was gonna be to meet whoever this guy is looking for another costume. Yeah, Phil, I don't know what's going on, if there's partners or anything, but let's hope he's not worse than your copycat. It can get worse than my copycat? I don't know. But we have brought a backpack full of things and we're hoping to get to the location a little bit ahead of time so we can scout out their meeting point and set up a trap which we have in this backpack. Do you have the walkie-talkies? I got the walkie-talkie in hand. You have yours in your pocket, right? Yep. What time is it anyways? It's 7.30 right now, Phil. I think we gotta scout out the area, then we each go to separate spots to hide out and wait for them to arrive. Sounds like a plan. Oh, Phil fam. Looks like we're coming up to the opening now. This must be the place. There's like four or five trees right here. Yeah, Phil. How are we gonna know which tree to set the net up in? I don't know. Looks like a pretty good hiding place for later. That looks like a good hiding place? That is so close to that tree. They could easily see you. Well, I'm not gonna be the one hiding there. I'm clearly gonna be in the woods all the way over there. You're saying you want me to hide there? Well, yeah, someone's got to. Fine, but only because you went alone yesterday, I'll do this one. Plus, someone's gotta be close enough to pull the trap. Well, let's set up this trap, and then I guess we've got 30 minutes before this meeting goes down. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Well, someone's gotta get up here and put the net up, Phil. It's in my bag, one sec. I think Biggs is done setting up the rope. He's currently trying to get into position. Oof. Okay. I definitely got lucky on this one, getting to go into the woods. Here I thought going to the woods would be a bad thing, but turns out this time I am very, very happy. Okay, this looks like an amazing position to scout out this meeting. Plenty of woods cover and a perfect sight line of the tree. Phil, I'm in position. Everything's ready to go. How are you doing in that bush? Right on, yep. So am I. Um, how much time we got anyways before this meeting goes down? 7.55, there's five minutes left before they get here. Let's try to stay as quiet as possible and only use the radio when I have to drop the rope. Okay, yep, radio silence until operation catching my copycat immenses. I got myself an even better sight of the tree, but it's almost eight o'clock. This meeting's gotta be going down any minute. Phil fam, are you seeing this? There's someone here. Oh no, he's walking away. There's only one guy. Should I drop the rope? What should I do? I don't know what to do. No, no, no. Do not drop the rope yet. We'll wait for the second guy. We'll trap him. It's okay. We don't get the two for one deal. Okay, okay, I understand. We'll get the second guy, and then hopefully he can give us answers to who this copycat is. It's fine. You know, I'm sure Phil knows what he's doing, but just wait till the second guy, and then we can trap him with the net. Oh, Phil fam. I think I see the second guy. 
Phil, he's right by the tree. Should I drop the net? Phil, I need confirmation. Should I drop the net, yes or no? Three, two, one. Finally, I got you now. Oh no. Why didn't Phil tell me to drop the net when the guy was there? Phil, tell me this is all part of your plan, please. I swear, guys, this is where Phil told me it was gonna be. I see no sign of him. Oh no. That's Phil's backpack. That's the one he took down here. This isn't good. Something is definitely up. I'm not too sure what's going on. I know Phil was here, obviously, because his backpack's here. But now his backpack's here, and Phil's gone. Phil could be anywhere. I don't want to scream, though, and alert those two guys if they're anywhere near here still. Hey, what's going on, Phil fam? Looks like I have your buddy. Finally, I got him after all this time. I knew my plan would work. The Huggy Woggy costume, spending two days in that backyard, now getting him in the woods. What's this? Guys, do you see what I'm looking at here? This looks like drag marks. Oh no. Yeah, guys, it's definitely drag marks and I'm really hoping it's not Phil, but since I found Phil's backpack and no Phil, I'm thinking he might've got taken by those guys. I'm gonna follow the drag marks a little further, but be very cautious as to not spook the guys. Really hope it's not Phil. It is Phil. I really hope I can catch up to him before he gets taken. I'll be there in no time. We'll lead the other guy here, trap him, and they'll be out of our lives for good. Oh no, guys. That's where the marks end. Phil's gone. How am I supposed to follow the trail? There's no marks for me to follow. Very serious situation. I know Phil and I love to pull pranks on each other, but I really do not think that this time Phil's pulling a prank on me. It's all going according to plan. We just got to keep going. I don't know what to do. Actually, I have a good idea. You know who always has answers for these types of things when we get stuck in sticky situations? Papa Jake. Papa Jake will know what to do. Jake? Hey, I got you some food. What, do you work for Uber now? Um, y y yeah, yeah, I work for Uber. Um, okay, thank you. I'll, I'll s no, 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 hold on, hold what? on. What? Also, I had um, something else to uh, say. Um, I'm kind of looking for uh, Friendly Phil. He is not, not a big deal, but he might have got lost. Literally every time I leave you two alone, something has to go wrong. Listen, a long time ago, I came up with an idea. I called it Bravo Friendly Philo. It was an idea that I would put a tracking device in every single one of Phil's underwear that would allow me to make sure that in times of need, I always knew where he was. Luckily for me, Phil only has three pairs of underwear. Quite gross, to be honest with you. Three pairs of underwear? Look, I'll give you the tracking device so you can find him. But that is the last I want to hear about that. Thank you so much, Papa Jay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not getting this pro bono. I want you to clean up my entire upstairs. The entire upstairs? This is a Papa Jake house. It's massive upstairs. Promise after I clean it up, you'll give me the GPS tracker. Yeah, yeah, Biggs, I'll give it to you. Just make sure it's spotless. Yes! Now I'm in Papa Jake's house all alone. Maybe, maybe I'll throw on some Spotify and listen to some tunes. Hey, Papa Jake. All right, now get out of my house. What? what? Oh my goodness. Before you do the GPS tracker, go get Phil. Okay. Oh, I was tiring. I am at the side of the house right now of where Friendly Phil is supposed to be inside, trapped by the evil criminals. I'm gonna go a little deeper in the backyard and see if I can find a back door to go inside. What? Hold on, is that the lock already off? You'd think if this was a secret evil criminal base, they'd have tight security and the lock would be on. Gate's already open. I wanna do a super ninja kick to kick it open. Guess I'll save that for later. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I thought I heard something. I just jumped into a bush. I think it was just a squirrel though. Kinda hurt. A seat. Kinda relaxing. I was getting a little tired. Creeping in the backyard. Right, I'm supposed to be creeping in. No one's supposed to know I'm here. All right, Bigsy, this is it. This is for all the marbles. This is the reason that Jake gave you the GPS in Phil's underwear. Although I don't know how to pick a lock and I'm assuming the door's gonna be locked. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna get in. Doors already unlocked? What kind of secret hideout base is this? This is gonna be a lot easier than I thought. I'm already inside. I thought there was gonna be a bunch of booby traps and other difficult tasks before I can get inside. Maybe it's that easy. Maybe I just should yell Phil's name. Phil, are you here? Fireplace. Too bad I didn't bring hot dogs or marshmallows. Could have made some s'mores. That would have been so good. Oh, I'm getting off track. I gotta find Phil. Oh, that way it looks really dark and scary. I'm not sure I wanna go down that way. Oh, Phil! 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 Oh, oh, Phil! 
My oh, goodness, am I happy to see you? Where have you been? I was looking for you everywhere. Thank goodness you have a GPS in your underwear. I have a what in my wear? It's a long story, Phil, but, but I found you. I did it all by myself. I am a hero. I found Phil and I saved the day and I got inside all by myself without anyone's help. Wow, Big Z, I am impressed, but this place is super creepy and I've only been awake for about 10 minutes and have absolutely no idea what happened to me. We need to get out of here like yesterday. Phil, what? How do you have the monster blaster in your pocket? I have no idea, I didn't even... I didn't even think about that. What's the monster blaster doing in my pocket? I don't know, Phil. That's why I asked you. It's in your pocket. I don't have time for this, Bixie. We gotta get out of here. How far are we away from home? Maybe you blacked out. You did some super ninja cool stuff. And then you found the monster blaster. Bixie, later. How do we get out of here? It's this way. The door was also already open. You know, maybe this copycat isn't so bad after all. Plus, I think he returned the monster blaster to you. He just kidnapped me. I don't think he's a very nice guy. Now come on, let's get back to the YouTube house before you get taken. Let me just say again, thank you so much for coming to save me. Of course, Phil, I can't leave you alone with your copycat. But remember, none of this to Papa Jake and Logan. I don't think they're here right now, but in the morning, we don't say a word. Promise? Thank you. Now hopefully, I think there's some leftover donuts in the fridge. Yeah, they're probably expired, Phil. You know how long we are gone for? Only a couple days. Also, no evil twin talk ever again. Oh, Pixie, we're in luck! We got the oh, donuts! Nice. Open those up, Phil. Uh, a donut after a long couple the sprinkle. of days. Nothing like... Yeah. What are you doing home? We got some spaining to do, my friend. Some, some what? Spaining. Explaining! I have had it up to here, Phil! Phil it's all... Cool. Of your mischiefs, all of little adventures. Oh, Jake, they're not always our fault. This one was your fault. So I've decided to intervene. I've taken care of your evil twin. I've fixed all of your problems as a hope, a one last time favor. Wait, 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 Jake, you took care of the evil twin? That's why he wasn't at the house? Yes, Phil, I've been watching everything you've been doing. The tracker in your underwear, I gave Biggs that information. What? You didn't tell me you found me because of Jake! Well, no, I, I I wanted to take the credit for it. Well, of course he knows what's going on then! I am confiscating oh, this! What? You can have it back when you get to 100,000 subscribers, and these donuts are mine. You can't have any more donuts until you get to 100,000 subscribers. Wait, what? Jake! He took our donuts! Took the monster blaster, Phil! That's how we protect ourselves! He took care of all the bad guys! Apparently the evil twin is dealt with! Yeah, that's kinda handy. Now we can go back and play in Minecraft.